including my uncle, who asked me the other day, um, is, uh, is that all ad-libbed or is it scripted? Because he watched some of my channel. I'm like, do you really think this is scripted? Oh, here it is. Okay, hi. I might go bald. I I'm going to go bald. I hope that she doesn't cut her hair off. I hope that um, she just makes more music. Okay, here we go. It's a serious Saturday morning. And you know it's serious when I got the Drakkar out. Um, I just wanted to prove to everybody that I actually have this, use it. It's been somewhat of a, a thing for a long time. Um, what am I talking about today? It's going to be about unsigned artists, and this is, I'm going to call this one the Unsigned Artist Project slash Mia Nikolai. I don't even know if that's the way to pronounce her name, but I'm going with Mia Nikolai. So this is a kind of a wild experiment. I don't know Mia. I've never met her. She popped into my TikTok feed somehow as I am only following about 25 people on TikTok, she's one of them. So occasionally, because I don't really go on there that much, I saw some of her posts. This is all going under the umbrella of um, my opinion. It's an experiment because I, do, I, know, I don't know this person. I've never met this artist. I have no introduction. I have no ulterior motive. I don't want to work with her or whatever. Um, I just, find her to be interesting and I've found that well one I, I will say the positives I like her music the stuff that I've heard I liked I like her personality on TikTok from what I saw except for a couple of things which is part of what I'm going to get into it's complicated you know I talk to unsigned artists quite a bit I talk to managers and other producers and other engineers and other mixers and other people in the business about unsigned artists all the time. And everyone's always asking the same questions. How do they break through? How, you know, how does, how did this one get further? How did, how did this one uh, get discovered? So in the case of an unsigned artist, like a TikTok person or a TikTok artist, uh, like a Mia, she comes across as someone who's driven, um, dedicated to her music, seems to be really be passionate about her music and clearly has uh, an interest in being a star. I'm going to get my other notes here because I just want to be fair to her. This is like the craziest experiment ever. There's an interview with her on a, on a blog. It says she's a true storyteller. She takes us on a journey as she navigates matters of the heart, flaws, execution. Oh, she's LA based singer songwriter from Amsterdam. She released a song not long ago, I guess December of 2021 is when this interview is from, uh, called Dream Go. And I like the song. I, I think it's a cool, it's got a vibe to it. It's, it's catchy to me. Looking at the numbers on her stuff, I mean, Spotify, there were some reasonable numbers. I mean, she wasn't like under a thousand. So let's, let, let me get into it a little bit. What some of the things that drove me to get into this chat about the the Mia Nikolai concept. One of the things that struck me is that she has this video that is pinned on her TikTok and it is things she hates about the music business. I thought it was. That was like one of her most popular ones. Anyway, her complaints are that labels don't want to sign her or want to sign artists because their numbers aren't there. Their social media numbers are there. And her argument is that um, that's what the label is for. The, the label should sign artists, let them do their art while the label does the marketing and connecting and promoting. It's not a completely off the wall idea, but She's missing the point in the context of like, unless you have a match where you find an A&R person or a record label person that is really interested in your music, they're going to come up with these reasons for not deciding to work with you. It's not really much more complicated than that than not deciding to go into business with you or not deciding that they can make money off of you or make money with you. Let me get into the 
another part of the uh, her TikTok feed, um, which I found to be just not comfortable. Um, she posted a video the other day that says, guys, um, I have an idea. Uh, what the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, hi. I might go bald. I have decided that I am gonna go bald. I'm gonna go bald. If. If. Yo, like, comment, share Everybody. this video. Right. And make sure that this song that is on right now, so over here, goes fucking wild. We can all do that. This hair. Gone. 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 Let's do it. I mean... I don't really, what's the point? Okay, let, let me try and come up with a gimmick to make my song or my video go viral. This will then get me numbers that will make my music popular. Is that how it's gonna work? I hope that she doesn't cut her hair off. I hope that um, she just makes more music and tries to connect with more fans via performing, maybe performing more of her tunes on social media, or at the very least, like, this This brings up an interesting thing, is that, like, when you go on social media, or you perform live, or you sing at a coffee shop, or when you show your face anywhere, you never know who's going to be there, who's going to be listening, who's going to be checking out. And in the perfect, the perfect example of this is that like Mia, just as an unsigned artist who's out there trying to do her thing, um, or is out there on social media trying to get something to happen, she doesn't know how serious it is out there in that there are people watching, there are people evaluating, thinking about it, looking it over, um, deciding whether they want to be a fan or not, whether they want to work with her or not, whether they want to book her on a show. Um, you know, there's, there's probably some instances where artists put these things out there that they don't realize just how much is going out there for someone to evaluate. And if it's someone, it, you, you, you know, you should be conscious of what you're putting out there, is what I'm saying, is, is that you never know who's watching. Now, I have no axe to grind. I have no, no interest in signing her or producing her, working with her. I, I think I would like to see her succeed. I mean, that, that's, that would be nice. I, I think that she's got something to offer more than sh shaving her hair off. Um, I think that uh, there's probably plenty of artists out there that are also in that boat. I think that where I'm finding a lot of this craziness mostly is TikTok. And I, 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 I could get it that there's a temptation to want to be somewhat of a, a big deal on TikTok. But um, it's in, I don't know, it's with disregard to their art. So I see the idea to try and grab attention, which is, you know, sort of a Gary V kind of thing. Like, let me, this is what you need to do. You need to grab attention and suck up everyone's attention so that they only think about you. It depends on what they're thinking about you for. I mean, if you think about someone like Gary V, all he's interested in doing is getting your attention so that you can listen to him sell the dream. I mean, that's like number one on his priority list. Sell the dream, do more speaking engagements, do more sponsored engagements, and make money. Then he teaches other people how to get attention, i.e. like brands. This is how you get attention. And then, then like getting attention will have a get a brand to make money. So by selling things. So in the case of the Mia Nikolai experiment, um, I, I think it would be kind of fun if somehow she was to find out that her videos are actually reaching probably more people than she realizes and that like there are there are thoughts that are going 
down when they see their her videos and see her TikTok entries, whatever you want to call them. What are they? What do we call them? TikToks. And they will they will evaluate your Instagram. They will evaluate your YouTube presence. Your Facebook presence, your Twitter tweets, um, all these things are going to result in something happening for you or not happening. So to get too caught up in desperation mode is, is probably a little risky. Mia is, is like part of this experiment. I think I'm going to do a few more unsigned or unknown artists and see if, I mean, if you're, if you're an unsigned artist you're, and you're an unknown artist and you're out there really trying to hunt for some sort of connection with a major label or with stardom, inevitably you should find out about even this video if you're her. Because if you're really digging in hard, you're going to find something like this because you'll Google yourself or, you know, friends will Google you or fans will Google you and eventually find these types of things. And you should probably know about them, look into them, see what's up with that. I don't know. I mean, some of this stuff I'll be editing out, which is probably this. There's some other artists that I've come across on TikTok that I'll probably get into a little bit in another segment of this sort of series that I'm going to do. And I don't know what I'm going to call this. It's probably going to be the, the unsigned artist rants. The Mia Nikolai experiment. I'm betting that there's no way in hell that she'll ever know or find out about this video and it'll just, she will, you know, maybe her, her, uh, her ears will ring one day saying, you know, like, yeah, I just get a weird feeling that some guy in, in New York did a video about me and, uh, who cares? Um, I hope the best for her. I hope the best for all unsigned artists and, and that they can find their way and find a way to connect. And another tip, I saw something just got awful the other day. It was like an artist I used to work with who went from being someone who like represented uh, the streets and the hood and you know New York City and all that to now being in a video where she's sitting in like a space age fucking Mercedes-Benz um, futuristic car because for one she has a sponsorship sponsorship deal with Mercedes-Benz and she's sort of trying to I don't know be futuristic I don't, the future is super materialism and uh, the futuristic Mercedes I guess Good stuff. One more thing is uh, my big announcement is uh, my big announcement is that I have finally crossed that crossed that crazy threshold of 100 subscribers. And I want to thank the hundred, including my uncle, who asked me the other day, um, is uh, is that all ad libbed or is it scripted? Because he watched some of my channel. I'm like, do you really think this is scripted? 